Hey, two cents in it. How you saying that song? Hey, y'all. What's up? They ain't so. Girl, you know it. You know it not. But yes, everybody want to put their little two cents in, this and that, you know. Tied, they all set you up. They didn't set nobody up, boo. Because if they set me up, boo, they didn't, it didn't go all the way through. You feel me? So they didn't set nobody up. Ain't nobody set nobody up. I ain't choose nobody's side. I didn't, tie is tie. Fuck, I don't need to choose a side and this and that, girl. Fuck. Someone trying to say you lying. What am I lying about? Why hasn't... Why don't y'all tell Eric to go live then? If it's not such a little-ass situation that turning into something big today, why he hasn't gone live? Why none of them went live? Oh, but let's keep it off live. Girl, people just want to be in the midst so motherfucking bad, girl. When bitches know they clout dying down, so... Because not me live or the other opponent is live. Somebody think they can go live and they see the views and they try to, like... I'm perfectly fine. I'm talking about Eric to Shamar. First of all, I said something to Shamar about the hoodie. Tangie ran back and ran her mouth. I can screenshot the messages. While Tommy ran in his mouth, he want to be so this and that. Like I said, everybody says that Eric is controlling. I been said that, boo. So what is it, what else did I say? Why he want to be piggybacking this and that. All I said was you're controlling. Tommy said it's more than a sweater. Well, how about Tommy call Eric and ask him what's up? Oh, he can't even do that. Why Tommy so much? Tommy want to be in the mix so motherfucking bad, girl. Tommy want to be in it so bad. Tommy want to be in the mix so bad. Ain't nobody playing shit. Yeah, where's the fight video, girl? Ain't no fight happen. Girl, none of these hoes was not my friend. I was never been none of these hoes' friend, okay? But when I been people shit, I stay in my own room. I stay at home, so I don't give a fuck. Yes, Tommy says Shamar was at his house yesterday, and they back cool. They back cool. <laughs> then it came to your house. Yes, girl. And it took me so much not to yank Shamar ass in the house and fuck that little nigga up. Why Tangie come back around? Because she giving out money. She giving out money. She giving out money. Yes, Tyler's and they friends again. Girl, I don't care. I don't care. They got a negative ass vibe, a negative ass energy, and a negative ass fan base, girl. I don't I'm good, girl. I'm good where I'm at, boo. Ain't no girl ain't nothing ain't no sleep loss, ain't nothing lost, boo. I don't care who coming. No, we not cool, girl. So why the fuck they leave when your brother pulled up, though? I don't know. They took flight. <laughs> why is you and Shamar into it? I don't know. He's on. He's, I guess, him because me and Eric is into it. Shamar got to choose Eric's side. But Shamar been playing. I should have yanked Shamar little ass up. Because Shamar been trying it. Even he called me. And when he hung up in my face, talking about where you at? And I told him I was at home. I should have just yanked his ass up when he run the doorbell. But, you know, I wasn't trying to give him a flashback of what Tommy did to him. But I was going to do worse, sir. You know? No, we're not cool no more because of Eric. Me and Shamar was just talking about like four or five hours ago. I don't care if they set this up, whatever they did. Congratulations, boo. Thank you. I don't care who was at who house, girl. I'm good. <laughs> they, could, they could be friends. They could be the luck at it. They could be the best at it.
the, what I said about Eric, I said, I said something about the hoodie when we was on the phone with Tangi. We got a little group chat, me, Tangi, and Shamar. I said something about the hoodie. I, can I ask Shamar? I said, Shamar, you got your hoodie? He was like, yeah. I was like, did you, do y'all got me one? He said, no. Then I was like, okay, I don't need to send nobody no money. And then, what else I say? Eric is controlling. Y'all say Eric controlling every damn day. I said Eric controlling. Okay. If that's talking about somebody, boo. And I said them two words, boo. I, don't, I guess, boo. Why me and Eric beefing? Because Tangie ran behind. Tangie ran back and told Eric I see, I was talking shit about him, I guess. I guess I, I was heard about the sweater and I um said he was controlling. It ain't never going to be no team up on top when I got the team, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you mean? It ain't no be careful with nobody, boo. I'm tired of y'all talking about be careful. I don't care if a nigga a shooter, a killer, a robber, a motherfucker, whoever the fuck, bitch. I don't care. Bitches ain't just because they got my motherfucking address. I don't got theirs either, boo. I'm not worried about that. He will. He'll ask Shamar to jump high high. Cause how, why, Shamar, why Eric blocked me? Then Shamar blocked me. I just, you know. Me and Shamar was just talking like, girl. But, you know, I'm not worried. I don't care. Nah, I was on the phone with them and Tangie said she told him and Eric text in the message and said he the one. He said Tangie said something, so I'm just so confused. It ain't no setup for nobody, boo, especially not me. So y'all can get that little setup word out your motherfucking mouth. But you said for if that's your friend, why would you just tell him that? Girl, if you TikTok want all the money, TikTok, you got it, boo. I don't need to do no TikToks with nobody. I don't need to do none of that, boo. My money still come and go. Who the fuck is Tangy? Tangy is the one. Y'all remember when Maggie had started all that shit with Orlando? Maggie was like, she lowers her in. <laughs> when Maggie had did all of this or, or whatever. That's Tangy. I know y'all remember Tangy. Y'all got to remember Tangy, girl. That shit was dragged on for them eight months. Y'all got to remember Tangie. And she done found her little way back in because she pays. She's a paymaster. So if, so if you want a friend that pay, get it, Tangie. Tangie will pay you for even. Tangie, if you say, I'm finna go wash the dishes. Tangie be like, I got $100 for you. He, she, I'm finna go clean the shoes. I got $100 for you. You did good in, You did good today? Here's $100. That's how she is. She pay, pay, pay. But yeah, girl, you just showed me, like, when was this? I believe Shamar's birthday. You just showed me, like, 6,800 in your TikTok account. But you be getting mad when everybody say, you don't use him, you don't use him, boo. You do. I mean, you couldn't cash it out at the moment, boo-boo. I guess you done cashed out because you done got your little, you know. But you, like, I don't get that, girl. Right, Shamar and Eric did fall out. I don't know, girl. Girl, slow. I should have, girl. It took me so much, girl. Can y'all cash at me, please? I just need like $50, girl. Please. Please. I had to stop smoking, girl, because I, I was like, I ain't finna lose breath, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Baby, I ain't falling in nothing, boo. I'm, boo, mm. I ain't falling in nothing. Who you talking about? What's her at? I don't know her at. She got so many pages, it's weird. She the one that be posting Shamar. She take them pictures of Shamar when he be sleeping shit, and she be taking pictures. I had a long day today, did some business. That'd be her. That be her that be taking a picture. Right, I'm better solo. I'm better. I'm better. They did not plot on me, boo. I should I swear to God, if I would have let this motherfucking phone record 
let should have let it go on live when they when they came and the way they sketch. Right, if they plotted, they got a bad plan. Right, if they plotted, they got a bad ass plan. Cause I should have, I should have let my phone record, man. I should have. I was just so empty getting outside. I was like, fuck it, man. They plotted, girl. I should have showed you the way they got ran the fuck out this neighborhood. That shit would have been funny as fuck. The way they took flight. Who was the first? Tangy, the SUV, then Eric. I did, yeah, I just know he was in the back that Audi. He was in the back. Yeah. <laughs> they asses just hit it out the fucking neighborhood. They asses just hit it out the neighborhood, girl. And the crazy part is, Shamar not even monetized on TikTok, not even monetized on YouTube. He he making money off the little gifts on TikTok. Like, no, you the TikTok master. One Mr. One Million TikTok followers. What is hurt? So they came as this group. So Eric pulled up first. He pulled up first and I left out. I was going to my dad's. He was like, how the fuck you leave out and the lights just cut on and off? So nigga, you really watching my house talking about the lights cut on and off? So I came back because I saw their locations. So Tangi and Shamar on the way. I got their location the whole fucking time, man. As they driving all the way down 20 from Harlem, from all that shit they going through. I knew when they was going to pull up and everything. Even though my brother on the way, he like three minutes behind they ass. So they all both pulled up at first. They in the motherfucking cul-de-sac doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Next thing you know, I guess Shamar get out the car. He walk up to the door. He he motherfucking knock on the damn door. He he ring the doorbell. He rung it one time. Then he rung about five times after that. It took me so much not to. My mom was just right there. I was the girl. I was going to yank that little boy in the house and fuck his ass up. I don't got to lie about shit. I don't give a fuck. Cause if, if if all of this not pertaining a sweater or you not um you not um controlling, why haven't you went live and talked about it yet? You know, oh, I'm just saying. Like I tell you, he did like five fucking times. I was finna fuck that nigga up, man. My mom would not let me. Why did they even come? Eric wanted to talk. I'm trying to say, what do you what do you want to talk about? He talking about he want to talk. But when Eric liked to talk to people face to face, he liked to fight. And he already said he wanted to fight me. So I'm like, you want to fight? Let's fight. It's no talking. Like, it's no talking. You already said you wanted to fight me on the phone. You said, I'm going to beat your fat ass. I said, okay, I'm going to see you when I see you, boy. And I blew him a kiss and that's it. But he pulled up because Tangie gave him my address. Because she's weird and crazy. She gave him my address and he pulled up first. He was here 45 minutes waiting on their ass. And I saw him on the third street. As soon as I came in, he was on the third street creeping. How your mom stop you? Because you know how somebody got their they hand wrapped around the door but and they foot, but it won't go but so far. The only way they can talk outside, that's how she was. Mm-hmm. Because if it's not all about a hoodie and it's not all about me saying you're controlling, then what is it about? Let me know. Let us know. At least make a story post, a mention, nothing. What I got to show y'all is the damn text messages, boo. And let's talk about come outside, this and that. But yeah, Tangy, she, I don't, girl, I don't know, man. I don't know why he didn't come to the door by himself. He should have come and ring the door. Why he sent Shamar? Because I'm telling y'all, I was going to fuck Shamar ass up. I don't know if Shamar knew them little five little rings was it to run back up the little coat, run back up to the street. But I was going to fuck that nigga up. So they pulled up on you. Yes, girl. Then when my brother pulled up, they scattered, girl. Right. They scattered. Like I was driving an extermination truck. Like you was like you was finna clear the trucks out. I tell you they was parked in the motherfucking cul de sac like they owned this shit. Like, like they owned this shit, truck. man. They was yeah. parked in the cul de sac for a good minute. This nigga talking about I'm pulling in. All y'all just hear is a big truck. And my mama finally opened the door. As soon as she opened the door, them niggas gone. And Tangie wanted to lie to Auntie Kiki talking about she didn't pull up, talking about this and
Why are you lying for?